Yo, what is going on, my boy Anubis, the Game Archer here with a brand new video for you guys today. Welcome to Archery Friday, a series where generally every Friday or every Friday when I have an idea for archery, I upload a video discussing archery or just, you know, doing some, some archery outside and things of that nature. There hasn't been an archery uh, video in a while, apologies. Um, those are part of the archery community, you know how this works. You know, the archery is a very hard thing to make as like a, a content creation kind of thing, unless you're like, you know, a very, very big established archer in, in you know, the community. Um, in general, what that means is, Unless you got a new bow to review, you basically don't really have much archery, archery to, to post. You know, usually when it comes to archery content creators, either you upload a video when there's a discussion to talk about in the community, or like I say, if, if you had a new bow. You know, I'm kind of a broke content creator, so I don't really, I don't really get new bows all that often, and you know, I don't really. This is essentially why I do. Like, I have friends. We're gonna get to like the, the actual topic of the video pretty soon, but I had friends before who were like, "You should make archery cut channel," and I was like. I was hesitant to do archery on YouTube because it's like, if you don't get like, if you don't have like a sponsorship for, for like when you people are sending you bows to review, you're not really going to be doing much archery when it comes to a content creation. And that's kind of how, how, how it is. But, um, so today's video, we got a discussion video. Your boy doesn't have a new, new bow, but just, I want one. We, we, we don't have the funds currently to get a new bow. Um, but when we do, and that's when we do another, another review. The second we get a new bow, we'll do, re do a review. Um, Today's video, though, I want to talk about uh, PDC bows for the most part, as well as what my thought, pro what my potential future bow would be when that time comes where I can afford it. Um, and this is going to lead to a, kind of a, a topic of uh, where we're at this month with, with entertainment, because right now Rings of Power is out, and so Lord of the Rings is a is a topic. So this is going to lead into something similar to Lord of the Rings, as well as just in, in general um, video about uh, El Elvish bows. Because that's kind of what I want. I want my next bow to be an, an Elvish bow. And you know, during that process, I was looking, just going through the, inter the interwebs, searching it up to see, you know, what can I find on Elven bows? Or is there anyone who makes legitimate Elven bows? Because I want one. They look nice as shit. I want to be able to, to, to shoot them. You know, whether it be like just a normal Elvish theme of bow or even like the same kind of like a, a replica bow of what Legolas uses in Lord of the Rings. Any kind of Elvish bow, I would, I be, I would like to, to own and be able to shoot. So doing my research on trying to find an Elvish bow, one of the things that I've kept noticing was a lot of people who make like wooden Elven bows don't make wooden Elven bows that are shootable. They're like decorations, and that's not what I want. We don't want to think that that you can't shoot. I want to be able to go outside, go to ranges, and, and shoot an Elvish bow, not just have it sitting on on a wall. It's not why I buy bows. It's not why I do archery. I don't do archery to have it as a decoration or they just say, oh, look, guys, look. Like, no, archery is my hobby. It's something that, that I get meditation out of and something that I love. I shoot all my bows. So it may be something that, that was shootable. So continuing the research, I started seeing a lot of PVC Elvish bows. And it made me think to myself, like, maybe PVC is, like, the only, like, you who are making these bows. And, it, and I kind of thought to myself, like, you don't really hear about PVC often when it comes to art conversations. You hear about laminated bows, you hear about, you know, biocomposite bows, you hear about fiberglass bows, you hear about bows that don't even use any of those, and it's just nothing but, but, but wood. Um, and, but you never hear about PVC. And I've thought about it, it's like, is PVC, like, you know, just not liked in the community? I don't know myself personally because I don't really know a lot of archers. I know, like, one archer social media who I often speak to um her name is pink archery on, on, on instagram um so I don't really like know but I never see people do like pvc archery reviews like I don't see it from, from new sensei or from armin hermer or you know any of the ones who I, who I frequently watch um do her bow reviews I don't see it, it talked about you know so it's like PV, the thing about pvc is it's very cheap and I feel like because PVC is very cheap and because of something that you can just do yourself, like when it comes, if you're, if you're that desperate for a bow to where PVC becomes an option for you, you might as well make your own bow. That's kind of like how I think most people in archery feel when it comes to PVC because it's such a cheap material. And so it's kind of like if you, if you, why buy PVC bow if you just make it yourself at that point? Because PVC is a very cheap material. And, you know, if you go on like Etsy, for example, you look up PVC bows, a lot of them are about 50 bucks, you know, 70 bucks. It's like. You, you can just go to the to the store and buy PVC pipes and, and just make your own make your own bow 
and probably spend less money than that. And so you and you you also start to like wonder like how many of those people on Etsy who are making these PC bowls are overcharging on it because that's also a thought process in archery. It's like you, you it's, archery is such a weird thing when it comes to the, the economics of it, to where there's there are people there are people who overprice their bows because they feel like this is the only option you'll have and. It's like, but but you're not as established as Alley Bow or AF Archery or Grocer, you know. You're, so it's why are your bows more expensive than their bows if your bows aren't anywhere near the quality of their bows? I've seen people in, in the community of, of Archery. I'm not gonna say their names because you know it'd be a little rude to point that point it out. But they just got into bow building, like they're literally brand new to bow building, and their bows aren't consistent. They're not like as manufactured as a lot of the big name bow bow creators out there the bowers out there and you know they're charging at, at minimum 500 dollars for a bow and it's like you're brand new to making bows and your starter bow costs more than alley bow's best bow which is 300 dollars if you want to get painting on it, it might be 350 but you know that's still cheaper than your entry bow it's, it's just weird but pc is just like bad, bad to that just one of the things because i was like like, what is it my PC people aren't interested in? And I've never fired a PC bolt, so I don't know if it, if it lacks speed, if it lacks a good feel. Because I do feel like sometimes when it comes to archery, the feeling of a bow in your hands matter. I do traditional archery, so I like to use you know wooden bolts. I don't use I don't use um compound bolts at all. If I'm, I think they're ugly. I don't like anything metal in my hand. I want to grip some wood. Pause. I want to grip some. I want to grip wood. All of my bows, even my takedown bows, you know, they're they're wooden bows. And so I feel like if I had a PVC bow, I would feel like this isn't this isn't wood. This doesn't feel good in my hands. I want to feel some wood in my hands, and you wouldn't get that from PVC bow. So leading into you know, looking for, so I, I, I was I was like, all right, I'm not getting a PVC bow. I'm doing all this research on the interwebs and looking at uh you know Etsy seems to be like the the place to, to be at seeing in in eBay. And I did come across like one Etsy page that had like a, a, a very good looking basic Elvish uh, PVC bow. But again, it's PVC and, and, I, and I want some real wood in my hands. And if you're a boar out there, you're missing out on money if you're not making like Elvish bows because there's a lot of people like me who are nerds who play games like Elder Scrolls and watch Lord of the Rings or read the Lord of the Rings books or play The Witcher. And, like, all these, these fantasy settings that have elves are very popular. World of Warcraft is one of the biggest games of all time. There's people who play those games like myself who are archers or want to get into archery and they would love to own some Elvish bows. And a lot of y'all aren't making Elvish bows. It's, it's, it was really hard for me to find some Elvish bows. And the ones that I did find are massively expensive. Like there's one that I saw that's like a few hundred, like a few thousand dollars. Like that's that's really pricing yourself out there. Um, I think Three Rivers Archery has a an Elvish style bow. But it's also pretty expensive and it's not like it's not like a El, like an actual elvish bow in terms of which what people like me who are nerds who experience this kind of content would view as elvish it just kind of looks like an elven bow um yeah the elven ranger from three i just looked it up it's about 400 dollars almost it's 3 380 but you might as well just say it's 400 and it looks cool it, it's a long bow, but it doesn't have like an, enough, like other than the design or the front of the bow or the back of the bow, you wouldn't really notice that it's a, you know, a wish thing bow. So then there's like the, the Etsy one that's like 70 bucks. It's a, but again, it's, it's PVC. I probably put like images of um, the bows on the screen. Okay, we'll do it live. All right, so here's the Etsy one, you know, 70 bucks. This one I looked at, there's, there's numerous versions of like Etsy PVC bows. Like most ones you, that you see on here will, will be, you know, Etsy bows. So you have like this one right here is Elder Scrolls. This one right here is Meridian. If you watched it, we got like that what it's called, um, Brave. You got Robin Hood. These are all PVC, PVC. And like, so this is what it looks like. It looks very basic, nothing special. 70 bucks is cheap. So it's like, you know. And you feel like it, it, it just wouldn't be great. Then you have, you know, this one's supposed to look like a Skyrim bow. Um, as someone who plays Skyrim, I, I guess it kind of looks like the hunting bow from Skyrim. Not like not really. Just you can tell how cheap it looks. Like when you look at the at the at the CS. I don't know if you would call it a CF Elvish bows, but you look at the CS of, of the, the bow. You know, it just looks very cheap and, and you know, doesn't look great. 
Um, let me put back up the three rivers one that I was mentioned before. So this is the one from Three Rivers, uh, the Oven Ranger. Like I said, it's 380. Um, you know, it comes in two sizes, 45 to 50, 55 to 60. So I guess max draws would be 50, max draws would be 60, but at 28 inches, it'd be 20, 50, 45 and 55. This is what it looks like, basically like a long bow with an elvish design. So it's a good looking bow. I've also seen, I think, I think I've seen New Sensei do a review of this bow and, and you know, it was mostly a good re re review. But, um, you know, it looks basic. And the price isn't too bad because the bow that I actually found that I want is way more more than this, and that's this one right here, the um, Lord Lorian uh, longbow. We have one left, but this is what it looks like. You know, it's made out of real wood. It's, it's a custom design. You know, and it, it it looks elvish. You know, it has these real vinyl little, little designs on the side of it. Um, you know, it has that, if you were watching Lord of the Rings, and it's supposed to, like, be based off Lord of the Rings, like, race of people, it has that, that elvish, kind of, like, D-shaped, kind of, um, Assyrian design towards it. Like, like, this piece right here, towards the handle, it's like a, a, uh, um, a, English, first language, Assyrian design, then, like, at the tips, though, it's kind of like a combination of, like, elvish and, and Middle Eastern. It just looks really, really nice, and you know, front of like a, a Merc wood bow, which is like the bow that Legolas would like use, that would be great too. Like, it'd just be cool to have like a bow like this. It just looks really nice. It looks really cool. I was thinking about getting one with the gold inlets, inlays, but I feel like the silver might actually like look better. I feel like the gold kind of looks rough on the, on the wood. We might change it from like, from uh, the, the gold to silver. And I'm all, you can get like multiple different colors, like but it'll be more expensive if you get like walnut. I think maple's fine. Like it just looks nice. And I, I really would like, it's my dream right now, my goal to own an Elvish bow. Like that's currently right now, there's three bows that exist in the world right now that I really wish I could own. A Syrian bow, an Elvish bow, and a really, really good Ottoman bow. I have a Turkish bow, but I want like a really good Ottoman bow. So yeah, so that's where I'm at right now when it comes to what I want when it comes to getting a bow. And like I said, my top, my, my top priority right now is getting an Elvish bow. And in general, like, it, it was at that point where I was like, all right, don't want to be desperate and just get a PVC bow. But it's like, no, I, I like the feel of wood in my hands. It'd be great to get some real wood in my hands. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, thank you all for watching. Well, enjoy. Catch you guys on the next one tomorrow on Saturday. We'll be uploading a, a Spider-Man Let's Play. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all stay safe. You know, aim true. Be your boy, Nibus Gamer Archer. Follow me on Twitch. Link to the description box below. Uh, as well as my support links. If you want to help your, your boy out, click on the, my, my Willow link and it'll show you like, you know, cash apps and things like that. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good weekend. Y'all stay safe. I'm out of here. There's this.